The name Janice Huff ring a bell? She joined NBC4 New York in January 1995 and continues to make history today. I wanted to be a part of the science in some way, shape or form. It started out as being a forecaster and being very technical and uh, working for the National Weather Service and then it ended up being a career in television, which I never would have imagined. Janice Huff, a household name. She says she's living her wildest dreams. My first job right out of high school, the summer before I went to college, was as a student trainee with the National Weather Service in Columbia, South Carolina, in the weather forecast office. Huff says before she even took her first course at Florida State University, she was learning from meteorologists. There were actually African Americans working in that office who were meteorologists and they had been uh, brought in uh, to help diversify the field. And whether in Chattanooga or New York City, Huff says she did not face setbacks like African American women before her because she always had mentors to look to. Because of them, I was allowed to participate and never questioned. And in January, Huff was inducted as a fellow to the American Meteorological Society for her outstanding contribution to the atmospheric sciences. Huff says she owes her success to June Bacon Bercy, the first African-American woman to be certified by AMS. Thank you for being the pioneer that you were in this science and paving the way for people like me and letting me know that it was possible. And now Huff says she has a special connection to Bacon Bercy through the pioneer's own daughter. Her daughter Dale happens to be a friend of mine and uh, on this particular time that I'm actually recording this, um, I'm having dinner with her tonight. <laughs> The month is almost over, but there's one more story I'd like to share. Next week, a meteorology student from Jackson State University says she can't wait to take courses in the meteorology lab June Bacon Bercy established.